Hey Raiders, happy Monday and welcome back to another week of learning together. So remember we started a new unit two weeks ago about biographies. Biographies are books all about a real person's life. Remember that they're nonfiction, which means they have facts or real information. They can be about someone from the past, long ago, or someone from the present, right now. And they're usually about a notable or famous person, like Martin Luther King Jr. You know all this already. <laughs> Last week, we learned that readers pay close attention to four things when they read, and we went through each of those four things. Today, you are going to get a chance to pay attention to all four of these things at one time about one person you choose to read about today. So let's take a look back and review. What were those four things we pay attention to when we read biographies? Let's see. The first thing is simply who is the notable person and why are they notable or famous? Okay, so that's the first thing, just knowing their name and a little bit about them. The second thing is paying attention to their accomplishments. For example, like awards or achievements that person has won. Let me put myself right in the middle here. <laughs> All right. The third thing we pay attention to are the challenges a notable person faced. So what struggles did they experience in their life? Now, the fourth thing we pay attention to are the character traits, which help us come up with the lesson learned. Today, we're just going to focus on those character traits, okay? And remember, when you're thinking of character traits, you can come to this slide to help you brainstorm some, some traits. So your job today is to choose where you want to read about your notable person. Maybe you were really interested in Pebble Go when we got to explore that, and that may be the place where you want to read about a notable person today. Maybe you weren't that interested in Pebble Go, which is perfectly fine. Then Epic may be the place where you go to look for a biography today. If you're interested in Pebble Go, you're going to click here. If you're interested in Epic, you're going to click here. Where Ooh. can we... When you click there, it's going to take you to the slide that shows you how to log into Pebble Go. Remember, you enter that, you click on that website, you click sign in, you enter the username and password, and then go to the biographies section. Now, it's let's your say, oops, let's say you chose Epic, then you're going to click here on this website, that's going to take you to Epic. You enter the class code for your class, whether you're in 201, 202, or 203. You find your name, and in the search bar, you can click on biography. Okay, let's take a look at what this looks like on those websites. So let's say I chose Epic. I'm going to enter my class code. I'm going to go there. Now I'm just going to log into the Growing Up Green Learner account to show you what this looks like. So maybe I'd go up to the top and I'd type biography and I would click search. Now let's say I search biographies and mm, none of these are really interesting to me. I can always click show more and that will show more. Or if I know who I wanna learn about, I can type their name. So maybe I know I wanna learn about the actress. Oop. Zendaya. So maybe I click her name and oh look there's a biography about her then I can read about her. Maybe I want to read about the author. Oops, the author Dave Toki. Maybe I click that. Look, there's a biography about him. He wrote the Dogman books, okay, and Captain Underpants. So you can either search biography or search the person's name. Now on Pebble Go, remember you click that green sign in and then you enter the username and password, G-U-G-C-S, and the password is school. You click go and you go to this biographies and then you can choose any of the people Sorry. here. You are going to choose one person on Epic or Pebble Go, just one person today. After you choose your person, then you are going to... Answer the questions on this worksheet. 
Okay, you can type it on the Google Doc, write it in your notebook, or print out the worksheet. Remember to answer every question. There are five questions today. So answer each one. The first one just asking you, who is the notable person? Write their name. Why are they notable? Write what makes them famous or important. Write one of their accomplishments here, one challenge they faced here, and then one character trait here. All right, and then you're done with your work today. All right, readers, we cannot wait to see the notable people you choose to read about today. Um, we hope you have fun with today's assignment. Bye, readers.